So this this is at the ending of Birth by Sleep, the PSP game. So this is Xehanort opening the thingy. If you've watched back cover, this is important right here. This is very important if you've watched back cover. So to understand that portion, you need to watch back cover. The Very important. The battle with Xehanort is almost upon us. As you know, we must take action to keep the seven pure lights safe. And thus, we must hasten to assemble the seven guardians of light. It is time to... Wait a second. I think that's actually the original Keyblade War. I think that's going to be the original Keyblade War. That's not at the dream job or that's not at birth by at the end of birth by sleep i'm thinking i'm thinking that's gonna be original keyblade war maybe hmm anyway return to our world the three keyblade wielders we lost over a decade ago ventus terra and aqua must be saved from their sad end for they have more to achieve Following their first battle with Xehanort, Ventus's heart refused to awaken. And so Aqua found a safe location to conceal him. But when she set off in search of her other missing friend, Terra, she fell to a place from which there is no return without outside help. I saw her. In the realm of darkness. That Mickey voice. Oh, we do get to watch it again. Maybe. Wait, Soren, you're giving swords out? Sounds like Mickey's a little sick right now.
Could it be? Maybe it could be. Ooh, just, just the dark world. Hey, where have we seen those mushrooms before? We've seen those mushrooms somewhere. Give me a quick second here. Why is Cinderella's world here in the darkness? That's a wonderful question. Why is it in the darkness? Oh, hey, Heartless. Attack with X. You can block and dodge. We already read that. It's doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. Alright, shortcuts. Okay. No magic yet. I can deal with that. They used this song again while well, they remade it. Still not bad though. It's a good song. There's no time in the realm of darkness. No time. I walk on and on without end. In the realm of light, do days or years pass with each step? I know something has started to go wrong. So again, at the end of must hurry. at the end of uh, Birth by Sleep, the PSP game, her two friends ends up end up pretty much getting face smashed. You know, one person's heart disappeared from their body, and the other person was uh, basically taken over, Tara and, and Ven. So uh, they're kind of SOL right now. And uh, what she did is like uh, Tara's body was falling into darkness. She jumped in threw her armor on him and shipped him out of the hole so then so then she fell into darkness instead of him so yeah it kind of sucks that she's now she kind of put her in put herself in this place she put herself go back to config there's all the config options you can play with i was looking for sound options to see if i can increase uh volume so she's been walking around endlessly down here. Now remember, yeah, I can't turn this on or off yet. Yeah, it needs clear, clear data first. Needs clear data. Now I'm starting off as level 50, which is about the level that you should be when you beat Birth by Sleep as well too, which is really cool. I'm really wondering if they're gonna let you in the future use your uh, your save from uh, Birth by Sleep, maybe, when Kingdom Hearts 4 comes out, like, or 3 comes out, that'd be kind of nifty. I guess I know which way I'm going. Which way you going, Aqua? I just had to walk on that. Didn't have to press any buttons. Oh look, our first treasure chest. Situation command. Got item. Press up and down for items. Use it on ourselves. Oh look, it's all gone now. Rip a dips. Yep. Yep. Um. I haven't felt my heart stir. I'm not gonna say exactly where this is in the timeline just yet. For story was. Something about this place. Because it'll spoil the ending. It looks like worse things are stirring. This is actually very interesting where this is taking place, though, in the storyline. Just a reminder, though. At the, uh, the end of Dream Drop, or sorry, the end of Birth by Sleep, they do have the, 
0.5 trailer, the 0.5 where they count back, this does fit into that video sequence. So after you beat this game, and if you want to well, watch this, we're going to be watching that uh, 0 0.5 uh, video sequence again, the secret, the secret uh, ending for the other one. Oh, cool. Actually, well, wow, that's a lot of text. Holy shit. So this is talking about all of Earth by Sleep. All of it, the entire thing. Which, look, it looks like they redid the... They redid that? Unless that's going to be the uh, uh, 1.5, 2.5 PS4 uh, release hiding in the back there. That looks really nice back there. Mm. 0 0.5 was the special ending. Like, it was just a video. It was just a video. So right at the end here, I think this is going to be like the, the important part here. Uh, how much is that? Holy shit. That's a still a lot of text. After the clash of the graveyard, Mickey friends finds Aqua and Ventus in the bare lanes uh, between the between and it takes them to Sid Yensid's tower. Aqua awakes and learns that Ventus's heart is asleep and Terra's whereabouts are unknown. She then decides to seek out Terra and find a safe spot for Ventus to rest. Aqua returns to the land of darkness and Ventus with Ventus and sees Master Ericus's keyblade on the ground. Remember, he died, sadly. She picks it up and remembers her mentor's words. Uses it to lock the land away. And uses it, well, yeah, anyway. It transforms into Castle Oblivion and Aqua hides the body of Ventus within one of its chambers. While departing, she hears a voice of Terra who asked her to put an end to him. Aqua follows the voice to Radiant Garden, where she encounters Terra Zaranort. Quickly realizes that someone has taken over her friend's body. She fights the mysterious man to get her friend's heart back. During the battle, a light begins to shine and within the man's within the man's body. Realizing that Terra is fighting back, Terra Zaranort turns turns to his turns his keyblade on himself. Without a heart, Terra Zaranort begins falling into darkness. Aqua grabs Terra, but soon realizes that they both won't make it out in time. Aqua entrusts Terra's body with her armor, places her keyblade in his hand, and sends him back to the realm of light. She herself continues to descend into the darkness, promising to one day return to wake Ventus. Back in Radiant Garden, Ansem the Wise follows his disciple, uh, Brig, to where the body of Terra Xehanort lies. Though the mysterious man has lost his memories, he recalls his name, Xehanort. Hearing that familiar name, Brig grins. Aqua, oh, Aqua wanders within the darkness, weary from her endless counter with the dark creatures. Eventually, she finds herself surrounded by monsters and wonders if it's time to give up. Just then, two lights, <laughs> two lights appear in the distance, and Terra, wow, Terra and Ventus's Keyblades soar from the darkness and defeat the creatures. Filled with new hope, Aqua smiles as she continues to trek through the darkness. As Aqua roams the dark land, she comes up to a familiar sight, the Castle of Dreams. Okay, so I think they kind of did that out of uh, order, uh, because we haven't seen that yet. <laughs> we haven't seen that yet. So we know what's coming up. Spoils. Spoils. 